Hey, welcome back to the workshop. I've got the uh, power seat mechanism working now, and I want to walk through everything I did to get it working and explain how it works if anyone else is having issues. Uh, so first of all, there was power getting to it when it was in the car, but it wouldn't move. So I took it out of the car and um, I took apart the transmission here, this little transmission. I did another video showing the insides of it, but basically there's two solenoids that move um, that engage a gear to this uh, drive pinion. And depending on which direction you're running, it'll drive one of these drive cables. And basically the solenoid um, that slides along the shaft, the, the lube in there was all dried out. So it was sticky. It was basically almost glued to the shaft. So I cleaned it off with electronics cleaner, um, applied some new lithium grease, and now they move freely. And this works great. Um, next problem was the motor would spin, but it would only go in one direction. Um, so I needed to figure out what, what was going on there. So, um, I started looking at the relay. This is the relay. Um, you've got the, the power lead that goes to the motor. Um, and then you've got these two wires that come out of the motor and go into the bottom of the relay. Those I believe are for switching the polarity that allows the motor to go forward and reverse. And then this black three prong, prong plug here is going to the switch. Um, the top wire, the, the orange and black stripe, that's the 12 volt hot. And then depending on which, but which way you push the switch, it uh, energizes these, either one of these wires, the green or the yellow, which triggers the relay and sends power to the motor. Um, and I found that when it would run one way, it was working. But if I shorted the pins, between the power and the opposite direction that wasn't working, it would run the motor. So I knew the motor wasn't having a problem. Um, so what it ended up being was the switch. Uh, basically the contacts were dirty inside here. And I have another video showing the inside of the switch. I've got it all back together, but basically I, I cleaned the contacts and uh, hit them with a file lightly, cleaned them with electronics cleaner, put it back together, and now it's working. Um, and then the solenoids are not connected to the relay at all. They are wired directly to the switch, uh, the blue and, uh, green, right? So let's give it a shot. I'm going to plug in my battery here. Here we go. And let's see. All right. So we got forward, backward. We move the seat up. Can't really see it in the video. Move the seat down. Working great. Um, the other thing I did was I soaked it in evapor rust. There's a lot of surface rust. You can see it's nice and better. I'm not going to say clean, but it's a lot better. Um, got the mechanism cleaned up the worm gear here. I lubricated that with some lithium grease. I hit all of these pivots with WD-40 all over the place, the ones that, that move the seat up and down. Um, I put a little uh, lubricant in the, the um, flex drives, right? These things, they don't, uh, they're pretty easy when you take the um, transmission off, right? These two bolts, transmission comes off that way. And then there's little metal collars that hook to this metal plate. You just slide them up and they come out. And then over here, it's like a speedometer cable, right? It's just a, um, a nut that locks it down to the, um, the worm gear drive. Um, so I got to do a little more cleanup on this. Um, the, the track needs some lube, the track that slides it fore and aft. Um, you can see the gear there. I'm going to get that lubed up. Um, and then this one is like the, the dead, the dead side. It doesn't have a drive. It just roll, rolls along with the driven side. And I need to get some of those uh, track sliders. So on here, right where these little recesses are, there's little nylon uh, clips that go on here that guide it, uh, so it stays, so it doesn't rattle around. And these are missing. There's a shop that sells them on eBay. They're kind of expensive. I want to say they're 
18 bucks a piece. Uh, I only need a few of them. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is working. I'm very happy. I'm going to get it uh, reattached to the seat and I'm going to work on the manual side. The passenger side is manual. It's much simpler. Uh, basically there's a, a, a roller that rolls along the track and it's moving. It just needs to be lubed up, but there it is. That's how, uh, that's how you work with a 1960s GM power seat. Hope it helps. Hope it helps anybody who's uh, trying to get one working again. So don't throw it out. You can, you can definitely fix them. All right, till next time. Bye, everyone.